hi and welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you how you make living willow structures willow is such an amazing plant and you can do so many things with it including when it's still alive and you're going to plant it and then weave it and then it's going to grow on so that's very exciting to me and i love working with it at that stage as well so in this video i just take you through just a few steps of what to think about and so you can learn to build something amazing and exciting yourself. I started out by marking where I was going to plant. So I just made, put a central stake in the middle and then use the string to mark a circle. Then I started making the holes in the ground where the willow sticks are going to go into. So um, this, the soil I was planting in, it was quite rich. There was a few stones in them. Um, it was a little bit hard at um, certain areas. So I wanted to make sure that the willow was going in deep enough. So I'm making these holes um, about 20 to 30 centimeters deep and I uh, pushed in two rods in one hole each time. When I'm um, weaving these ones, um, I like starting on my right hand side and moving towards the left. It just seems um, that it you know, suits me best, so I stick with that. And I'm basically just going to take the first stick and bring it in front of its partner, behind the next one, in front of the next one, behind the next one like any kind of weaving project because I have two sticks in each hole one is, the, is going to bend towards the right the other one is going to bend towards the left um, so I'm every time taking if you look at each pair I'm taking every stick that's on the right towards the right and every stick that's on the left towards the left and I'm taking that stick in front behind in front and behind um, and the first few here I'm just kind of tying them onto the little archway that I was building um, after a while then um, I'm just leaving them sticking out at the top Once I had that done on both sides, I wove in a few stakes um, horizontally and it basically just went in and out. Um, um, I felt it needed a little bit more strength in the middle. And then I started weaving through 
some upright stakes. So these were the longest stakes I had and I would push them into the gap that was already there. Um, I didn't do every single gap, you could definitely do that. Um, but um, for this structure it wasn't necessary. I am, um, this circle, the dome that I was making was um, 12 feet in diameter. So um, it's really hard to get rods that are long enough to span all the way across to be able to tie, uh, to be tied on to the um, opposite stake. So I just started out by bringing a few together um, and then uh, uh, another few and then uh, eventually I added in some dry stakes to make the whole structure sit together. You could definitely do this with two-year-old rods. Uh, it would be stronger, they'd be longer. Um, I just didn't have them available. To tie the rods together I used um, little bits of willow that were cut off from those little side shoots from the from the side weaving and um, they had a lot of side branches so I just cut a few of them off and then um, we just tie them with that. String would also work. So once I had those living willow um, stakes kind of tied together, I started weaving some more stakes in between them. They did not go into the ground, so they're not going to be um, they're not going to be growing. But um, the plan is um, the stakes that are start going to be growing. Um, they'll make side shoots and um, they'll be worked in every year um, to make the structure stronger over time. These dry rods, they will stay in place for um, three, maybe four years before they start breaking apart. And by that time, um, the living willow should be uh, nice and strong and be woven in a few years. So. Um, it will be all, you know, its own structure. have left the, the structure just as it was um, just with the, the longer stakes um, but I felt um, I suppose I wanted a little bit of instant gratification here um, I wanted it to be a dome from the get-go and Weaving this is really, there is no um, real system to do this. Um, it's just random weaving. So what I would start with is I just kind of anchor the thick end of the rod somewhere into weaving. Um, just go in and out and in and out until I feel it's stuck. And then um, the tips of the rod gets woven in on the other side. The next day I started um, work on the tunnel, so the dome took me a full day of work. And I basically start in the same way, um, 
I'm making holes um, about 20 centimeters apart, about five inches. Um, the holes are again 20 to 30 centimeters deep, five, six inches at least. Um, and I've and I put again two rods into each gap and then start weaving as before. Once the sides were woven like that, um, again I took some longer rods and wove them in straight. So they went straight down, I wove them in and out a few times and then into the holes. Um, I didn't do every single one, I think I skipped every second one or something. Um, and then I brought those rods over to its opposite one and um, tied them together. Um, in the shape of a little dome. Again, I wove some rods through the sides um, just to make it a little bit stronger as a structure. And I, I could have just left it there, uh, it would have been fine. But because these um, structures are in a park, I just also felt that um, they needed a little bit more strength. So I started adding in more rods that weren't planted in the ground and just wove them randomly through the ones that were planted in the ground to make the whole thing um, kind of stick together a little bit more and have a little bit more um, strength.
I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! And if you don't know yet, um, if you want to learn how to make baskets and you don't have a local basket maker available, I have online classes and they're available all the time. I leave a link for them below if you want to check them out.